let's get started using Guido Van Robot. Okay, here I've started Vera Virtual. I'm going to the start menu and under either education or programming, I can choose GVRNG, Guido Van Robot. The name Guido Van Robot is a play on the name of the um, inventor of Python, Guido Van Rossum, and uh, the application here is written in Python and it introduces you to, as a halfway house to Python programming. So here's how it starts up. There's a code editor panel over here, behind it a world panel editor, and over here we'll see Guido's world. And um, the first thing, if you need a language reference, there's these are the instructions that Guido understands. Well, let's get started. You go under the menu GVR, Open World Builder, and here's Guido in the world. Now this is an edit, this is an edit wor the world mode, because if you can tell because of the blue dots. If I click on abort, now we're in run code mode, and this is the only mode that Guido will actually do something. So for example, here I can hand over one of the instructions, move, move, uh, turn left, move, and those are two of Guido's five instructions. So if I click on execute, he um, does them, he carries them out. Now, if I want to start again, I can reload. Now, if I want to do something different here, for example, I can put um, walls, toggle walls back and forth like this. I can also, if I right click on a square, I can put markers, they're called beepers. I have no idea why, because they don't beep. Okay, there's one, I could put two here. Okay, now if I look at the world editor, we never really have to edit this because I can edit it using the edit world mode here and it automatically fills in uh, the instructions that build this world. So for example, Guido here is it as at um, column one, row one, he's facing east and, he, and he's not carrying any beepers. Let's make him carry a beeper, okay? And then we have beepers at one, two, three, four, the fourth column over the second row, and the fourth column over the third row. The, the, the row labels are nicely centered. Unfortunately, the column labels here are offset. So this, this one here labels the first column, this two labels the second column, like that. Okay, so we come back to the code editor, editor and let's make a change here. We had Guido, he moved, he moved. One more move, turn left move, then we can have him uh, pick beeper, move, pick beeper, um, pick beeper, because there's two in the next one up, and he can move, and then we can, um, since now he's carrying three, he had one, he picked up three, now he had, uh, now he has four. Okay, so now let's do instruct Guido to put one of his beepers down, put another one down, put his third one down, put his fourth one down, move and turn off. Now the five instructions displayed here move, turn left, pick beeper, put beeper, and turn off are all the basic action instructions that Guido has. Now, this program should move Guido over here. He's gonna pick up these beepers, um, put them all here, and then move here. Now, if I've made a mistake in counting, we'll, we'll, we'll get an order message. But let's, now to go, we'll get an order, um, an error message. Now, to go from this world to run this code, we first have to abort, which puts us into run code mode. And then we can, now we could, we can just step through. We can go step, and you can see that as I step through, it highlights the one that you just did. Okay, so if I step through, he's moved. And then I can continue if I want, just to go through. Okay. And there he is, it, it worked as advertised, picking up all the beepers and locating them here. Okay, well, um, then if you want to save your code, you come over to the code editor and do save as, and let's put it on the desktop. 
um, um, Guido test, save. And if you want to save the world, um, save Guido, save the world, you can also do this and let's put it on the desktop also. <clears throat> Widow world, okay. And somewhere here, uh, well, it's not picking up that. Let's see where I put them. There they are. When I go to the window here, it prompts the um, desktop window to refresh. These should be both text files, but you can see this is GVR. This is Guido's instructions. And it just is a list of the instructions that we sent to Guido. And his world is also just a text file, just the <clears throat> text of the world that makes the world. Then you can load the world and load the code and continue editing. Okay, so that's how to use Guido, which is what you want, the application you want to use to complete all of the first week's activities, algorithms, and action with Guido Van Robot. Well, that's it.